In this demonstration of S88 Builder, we are going to show how an end user can add a new unit to an existing system. In our example, we have a distillery that would like to add a fourth fermenter to increase production. The first step will be creating the unit in Factory Talk Batch. In order to do this, we will need to add the unit, each associated phase, and then configure the tags to each phase. With Factory Talk Batch Equipment Editor open, drop a new fermenter onto the screen and rename it to match the existing fermenters. We need to change the equipment ID as this will be a link to S88 Builder later in this demonstration. And then use the EM data server connection already configured. Now connect Fermenter 4 to the existing mash tubs. Now go into the unit and add our configured phases. We need to define the differences between integers and strings for the S88 engine. To do this, we place an I or an S inside of each tag name. Each phase has already been set up with the correct parameters, such as the transfer amount set points. Each phase instance must be set up inside a Factory Talk batch, but this mapping handles all of the logic so that there is no custom programming for each phase. We have now added our initialize phase, transfer phases, and a phase to display messages to the operator. The Factory Talk batch portion is complete, so we can now make the graphical changes necessary for adding the fermenter into the HMI. Open Factory Talk View Studio and go to the screen that displays the fermenters. Since this fermenter will be a duplicate of the other three, we can copy and paste the objects. We are going to change the names of the valves and tank to match the actual equipment device names. The S88 global objects need to be set up with parameters to match their names. S88 Builder lets you define the name to any naming convention that you like, just as long as each device name is unique.
Update the name of our new fermenter and save the screen. We are done with the HMI portion. With Factory Talk View Studio and batch setup, it's time to make the configuration changes in S88 Builder and download to the logic controllers. The first step is to add the control modules into the CM table. Moving to the top of our S88 Builder model, the physical tank needs to be added as a vessel. In this instance, the unit and vessel are a one-to-one -one match, so we need to configure the unit to use the vessel and its associated equipment modules. Notice here that we have assigned the phase ID that we created in Factory Talk Batch of 10006. This is our link to the S88 Builder configuration. Now it's time to add the phases. For consistency, we will name each instance the same as we did in Factory Talk Batch. The equipment modules now need to be configured. To add the equipment modules, we go to the EM tab, give the equipment module a name, and assign the correct source and destination. The equipment modules have now been defined and need to be assigned to the configured phases. Now we need to assign our newly configured phases to the Fermenter 4 unit. Going backwards here, we need to configure our equipment module route and assign the correct control modules. This can be done from the EM Acquires tab.
With everything configured in S88 Builder, it's time to download the tables into the Logic Controller. Open up the unit screen located on Fermenter 4 and click on the MASHTUB1 to Fermenter 4 transfer EM that we have created and run the equipment module. Notice as each control module is acquired and activated. Also notice the pipes animate showing our selected material. So here we are running the equipment module manually. Just as easy we could run the equipment module or its phase through a recipe in Factory Talk Batch without changing any code in the logic controller or special setup in the HMI we have a working system to display. This concludes the demonstration on how to configure a unit in S88 Builder. For more information regarding specific details or to schedule a demonstration, please visit our website at s88builder.com.